Hey everybody. Today we're going to be giving a test, quick review of this cat. It's um, AC, 120 PSI, 200 watt, 3.1 amp, wireless, battery bank, charger. You can see there's an AC port, um, some USBs and air. And we're going to test it on my mom's CRV. And unfortunately, this is the only comparison for accuracy, which is not going to be very accurate. And we want 30 pounds. Yeah, so right, we'll, we'll set it to 30. But again, here we're above merit, guys. Beautiful day. Sun is dropping. I am Marcel. This is my YouTube channel. He's racing. So uh, yeah, let's give it a little test here. Let's go to test. So first, I'm going to bring it down. We'll, see, we'll put it at 35 and see what happens here. Okay, so I just screwed the end on so it doesn't leak. It's a simple design, not quick release though. And that tells me there's 38.9. So let's, let's just try 40 for example here. And then what, you press the air button? Okay, let's do another test. Okay, so I just tested on this cage. It's showing like 40. Okay, so, it's so it's it's. I don't know why it just didn't stop though. It just sits there, I guess. But yeah, so maybe it just has a system so you don't lose some air. So well, we're gonna bring this down because we actually want like 32 in the rear, and or 35, 32, and then I'll check a different tire. Okay, 35.5. It's showing, and on here that's exactly. It was just right around 35, so 32, 34, 35, 36, right? So the digital comparing that's relatively accurate. Unfortunately, you can't take air out. No, they won't take air out. <laughs> so we'll move on to the next wheel, guys, because um, we're you know. Yeah. Okay, just doing the final wheel here for the test. You want me to hold the camera? No, I'm good. Right. Okay, 32.4. Hit air. This is 34. That's on. Hit air. <laughs> I think it's just telling you it's time to come unhook it. It doesn't have like, it doesn't stop and sit. Because that makes no sense. You know, or you can take it out. Then it, oh, then it stops when you start taking it out. Oh. It said 340 when you took it out. No, no, it said 34. That's what it said at. So it is set to 32, 34, that's what I set it at. Yeah, so no, it's working. So yeah, it does a job. Uh, I guess we won't really test it to see the whole battery to take a tire from nothing. Probably Somebody times. else's YouTube video, you can see how long no, it does. We're going to my motor home with it. Oh boy. And you're going to see a tire that what? was absolutely empty. Oh yeah, so we'll, okay, so we'll, we'll continue the test then yeah, from Costco, my, guys. How my much RV tires How much air. did it cost, Bob? Um, it went back on sale for 99 I paid a little more. Okay, all right. Not bad. Oh yeah, I forgot. So it's the main purpose people buy them for is a jumper. It's, it's the a, jump. Where's the jump wires? A, they come out of here. A, oh, there's an LED light. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Engine start. What is it? Huh. That's where the wire goes in. And then the wires, where's the, the jumper cables, Mom? Are they hiding in here? I know, I never use them. Oh, look, that's like the battery replacement of some Allens. Yeah. That's weird, but look, there has Oh, comes... oh no, I know, here. There's a bag, here they are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here's oh, the charge. charger. That's so easy to charge. Oh, I see. To charge the battery, and, and then it comes with so many jumpers. So that's when you need it to jump. That's why you bought it to start with, right? No, I no, bought it for, for the, the air. air. Okay, so it's like having this, and it also 120 psi tire with auto stop. There you go. We just had to read the box. Easily adjust the pressure dial with plus or minus control buttons. The, the heavy duty brass tip fit nozzle security connects the tire support. Yeah, yeah works with everything so anyway you know for a costco considering you just can take it back if you don't use it later on take it back years later guys no receipt just have it on your account You're good to go it's a good that's a good hundred bucks safety device just for the air alone i mean the milwaukee one must cost me like 50 60 and it doesn't come with a battery oh you turn it on but it doesn't matter it'll turn itself off 12.9 volts it tells you your voltage 
Oh, no, there's no off button. Charging, whatever. Yeah, AC. How's that work, too? AC mode. Boom. Yeah, I'd be curious to try that. 200 watts. Cool. It'll turn off on its own. Anyways, guys, for, if you guys want to keep seeing the test, I guess I'll, I'll try to do that. We'll see, fill up a tire from flat on my mom's RV. I'll give the AC a test, see if it can run a, like a, you know, frother or something without using the heat. Um, something that's going to be under 200 watts. That's not very much. You can't run anything that makes heat, like a frother. Using the heat function. Look at that. Come to test the machine on my mom's tire. It's seeing a little low, but look at this in the water. How long has this been here in the winter time? She probably lost it in the snow. Last it was at 45 psi. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey mom. All right, so we're continuing the test in the machine. Look what you left in the snow or the water. I, luckily I have an extra you dropped it in the snow, right? And now it's all melted. When I was here, when it was all snow, twenty-five below. Yeah, you dropped it. All right. Yeah, don't drop it. I didn't it. even notice that. Good thing I had another one. Maybe it'll work. Okay. I think this one is going to work better than this. One. Okay, test continuing. Air. Thirty-four, thirty-four. Put the air in. Well, forty-three point. Oh, I got to set it. It was forty-three. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're doing a 60, 66. Sound changed. Yeah, it's harder to push it in now. Oh, you it's gotta longer. be kidding me! Fifty-three point two. Oh no, you still got it's. But yeah, it's going so slow now. Fifty-three point five. I don't think it can maybe do more than fifty-four. We'll see. Oh, fifty-three point eight. Well, then we'll leave it for a bit. Well, initial impressions of the Costco air filler. I mean, you know, small vehicle tires, more doable. At this point, it might not be powerful enough, you know, to do it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll keep you guys posted. Let's see if we can get it up to 66 PSI. Well, I took it last time. I met over a long period of time. I managed to get it from zero up to um, 45, 46. And then the battery went dead because on this right. machine. And then, and then it was just so slow. I just stopped. With this same machine? Yeah. Oh, so you but have I used it. I 45 pounds. Okay, so yeah, and it's now not... now it's coming in at 44, so it's only lost a pound in the last two weeks. Well, yeah, so maybe the Milwaukee one is better. I have a little Milwaukee filler, and that, that might be a bit... That would be good to know. It, it won't jump a battery. Yeah, I have it in my truck, yeah. You can try it. Even a little bit would help. 56.4. Is it going down or low to the last time? 56.4. 58.3 Save me from my awfulness. I mean, it helps, but it's not gonna win all, be all. 59. The motor is sounding louder now. No, I didn't touch it. I was just looking at your tires, your air pressures. Uh, 75, sit 80, yeah. I think, you know, you definitely would, you, you know, with your weight, you're gonna want like 70 obviously when you're driving right on the backs yeah, yeah so 70 in the front. No, it's going faster now it's picked up its pace yeah it's picked up oh well, maybe we'll hit 66 guys Tire 
too. We're not doing this tire though. No, we certainly. No, no, we don't have enough machine for that. All right, 65.9 or 65.9. Come on, no, it doesn't actually go. Okay, it's reached this point. All right. Oh, it stopped. Or I stopped it. All right. So we just checked. One was saying 60. This one said 60. <laughs> that was in the water. The other one said 63. And this one says 60, 12.6 volts. Still, still got battery. Come on. It's gonna show. No, it's not. 66. See, so they're 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 off. Something's off. Okay, so now we're on the driver's side, and it's at 51, and we're gonna take it up to 67. Oops. And it's from 51. So. And the battery's just over half, 12 point something. We'll see. We'll see if we can do two wheels, top of two wheels on the battery. Okay, the machine is slowing down, 59.9. You know, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just really freaking slow. The Costco, we could have had a, a better motor, you know, like another 50% capacity of air. It's pretty slow. It's slow. All right, so, so my mom is like, she's getting tired, she's getting cold. It's taking too long. She's worried she's gonna overheat it. Doesn't feel hot, but and she's like, stop. And then it's 60.4. It tells you the volts. So essentially, it's just so slow, guys. You don't want to wait around forever. 67. Where's the damn voltage? Whatever. I'll pull it off. Anyways, it's just too slow. Oh, it's losing a little air when I do that. So yeah, it's not the fastest, and I don't know what the volts are. 12.4 volts now. 12.4. All right, well, I would say it's something. How much did you pay for this, Mom? About 120. No, 176, I think. No I way. Oh, I would I definitely did. take I it did. back. I'd get the Milwaukee <laughs> one for $100 plus the batteries. You're good to go. All right, Ernie Racing News on the Costco battery charger. I mean, it, should, it might start your car too, but still. It might do some other things, but still. It doesn't do, this is what is most important. All right, my mom says, Bring the Milwaukee out and we'll, we'll compare it. Look at this, you're trying to get it back in the box. There it is, the cat branded. Of course, cat doesn't make it, made in China, but Costco cat branded. We'll compare it to the Milwaukee, we'll come back. Okay, continuing the test, there's the battery charging function. And is it still charging? What the hell? Hmm. Yeah, okay, it's, it's charging, it's charging. But I don't know if it's fast charging, whatever, but uh, it's going to do it. All right. Okay, so the AC right here, I can turn that off. No, okay, there you go. Plug her in. All right, plug the power on. AC. AC is on. Okay. I mean, well, that's an LED bulb, so that should use like 20, 30, 40 watts, nothing. Does it, totally Does it do anything else? Nope. The lamp? Okay, we need to... So it, it runs the lamp, you know. You want to see if it runs the throttle? Sure, it won't do it in hot, it's but we can try in cold. Okay, we're back to the AC mode. And so this frother does hot or cold. It's, you hold it, you hold it, there's cold. So it runs the frother on cold. You know, you hold it longer for the green yeah, button. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to go on hot. Well, okay, well, let's, that's let's good. Let's try it. Well, let's try hot, okay? We'll just get a double shot here. Nope. No. Boom. Okay, well that's good to know. AC, AC issue. From my experience with my frother, I know it's going to pull four to five hundred pounds to heat up that frother. It takes a little bit amount, a little bit. Yeah. I, cigarette lighters are limited as well. Maybe a cigarette lighter goes up to three hundred watts. Maybe it's two hundred. You got to look it up. But just having the cigarette lighter adapter plug, it'll take any connection down to something like two, two fifty, three hundred. Um, you really you can take an inverter and connect it directly to your car battery and you can pull up like 750 watts etc so i'm gonna have to film a separate video go get the milwaukee we'll go back to the motorhome and we'll have a part two guys so stay tuned for part two we got the cat costco battery chart um air compressor versus milwaukee's air compressor review review so we'll, we'll measure the speeds